Pablo Escobar, a name whispered in fear, uttered in anger. He rose from poverty to become one of the most powerful criminals in history. Born in Colombia, Escobar grew up surrounded by poverty and inequality. From a young age, Escobar displayed a cunning mind and a ruthless streak. He began his criminal career with petty theft but his ambition soon led him to bigger schemes. He realized that immense wealth could be found in the illegal drug trade, specifically cocaine. He built a vast network of smugglers, chemists, and distributors, flooding the United States and beyond with cocaine. His wealth became legendary, as did his ruthlessness. Escobar's rise to power was marked by violence and corruption. Pablo Escobar's personal life was a complex tapestry of love, loyalty, and tragedy. At the heart of it was his wife, Maria Victoria Hanau, whom he married when she was just a teenager. Maria Victoria stood by his side throughout his reign, enduring his infidelities and the constant threat of violence. She remained loyal, even when his actions brought danger to their family. Escobar was known for his numerous affairs. Women were drawn to his charisma and power, becoming entangled in his dangerous world. He showered them with lavish gifts and affection, but their lives were forever intertwined with his criminal enterprise. One of the most well-known women in his life was Virginia Vallejo, a prominent Colombian journalist. Despite the dangers and betrayals, the women in Escobar's life remained a constant. Pablo Escobar's name became synonymous with cocaine. He transformed the drug trade from a small-time operation into a multi-billion dollar industry. His cartel, based in Medellin, Colombia, became a global powerhouse, flooding the world with its illicit product. Escobar's genius lay in his ability to control every aspect of the business. He oversaw the production of cocaine in remote jungle labs, bribed officials to turn a blind eye, and established sophisticated smuggling routes. He amassed a fortune beyond imagination, becoming one of the richest men in the world. But this generosity was a facade, a way to maintain control and silence dissent. Escobar's drug empire left a devastating trail of addiction and violence in its wake. Section 4. Terror and Bloodshed, The Price of Power Pablo Escobar's reign was built on a foundation of terror. He believed that violence was the most effective way to maintain control and eliminate his enemies. His cartel waged a bloody war against anyone who dared to challenge his authority, leaving a trail of dead bodies in its wake. Judges, journalists, politicians, no one was safe from his wrath. He orchestrated bombings, assassinations and kidnappings, instilling fear in the hearts of the Colombian people. One of the most infamous acts of violence attributed to Escobar was the bombing of Avianca Flight 203 in 1989. The bombing, which killed all 110 people on board, was intended to assassinate a presidential candidate. The bombing solidified his image as a ruthless and dangerous criminal, capable of unimaginable cruelty. Section 5. The Walls Close In, Escobar on the Run As Escobar's reign of terror intensified, so too did the pressure to bring him to justice. The Colombian government, under pressure from the United States, launched an all-out offensive against his cartel. A special police unit known as the Search Block was created with the sole purpose of capturing or killing Escobar. The drug lord, once seemingly invincible, found himself on the run. He was forced into hiding, moving from one safe house to another, always one step ahead of his pursuers. Despite being a fugitive, Escobar continued to run his empire from the shadows. The constant fear of capture, the betrayal of former allies and the separation from his family weighed heavily on him. Section 6. Death of a Kingpin, The Final Chapter On December 2, 1993, Pablo Escobar's reign of terror came to an end. He was tracked down to a middle-class neighborhood in Medellin by the relentless search block, his location given away by a phone call he made to his son. A shootout ensued on the rooftops of the city. Escobar, desperate and cornered, was gunned down by Colombian security forces. His death, captured in a series of gruesome photographs, marked the end of an era. The news of Escobar's death was met with mixed emotions in Colombia. Some celebrated the demise of the man who had held their country hostage for so long. Pablo Escobar's legacy is a complex one. His story is a cautionary tale about the seductive nature of power, the corrosive effects of greed, and the devastating consequences of the drug trade.